So I'm from the Department of Economics, and I do a little bit of work on multinational activity. And you can just get a sense of the extent of uh, multinational activity. So when I say multinational, I just mean a firm that also has a foreign operation. So um, in fact, if you look at the, the volume of uh, what we call foreign direct investment that a multinational does, it's actually higher than the volume of trades and goods and services. So this activity is really picked up. And I look at, I look at certain factors driving it, including um, focusing on the way multinationals finance, how they raise funds, and um, narrowing it even closer to the, the role of the exchange rate. So the argument is this. Uh, if there's a drop in the value of your currency, does that encourage foreign multinationals to buy up your assets? So if there's a fall in the value of the Canadian dollar, does that lead to, relative to the US, US dollar, does that lead to increased US M&As, emergency and acquisitions here in Canada? And this was a concern around 15, 10 years ago when the value of the Canadian dollar was low relative to the US and people were worried about Americans buying up all our assets, we'll lose our sovereignty or our economic um, wealth. So the answer is uh, under certain conditions, that's true. So if there's a drop in the value of the Canadian dollar, the, there will be US M&As in Canada, but they'll only be buying up a firm here in Canada that has a transferable resource that an American firm can use to generate revenues in US dollars, the higher value currency. Because it's not enough just to say that a lower value of the dollar will lead to increased M&As because they're earning Canadian dollars and when they repatriate their profits to the US, their exchange rate at a higher exchange rate, it washes out. So what they need is an asset that's transferable to the US so they can earn revenues in the higher US currency. So um, that's just one empirical, well, a bit of empirical work that I did, and, I, and um, those, those results came out. And that has implications, say, for if you're trying to protect high-tech industries, which, is, which are firms that have a transferable asset. So you want to uh, at least uh, have a strong currency to prevent um, uh, foreign multinationals from buying up these firms.